I've edited the text item at the top of the screen to give an introduction to what this screen is all about. You can do the same in your app if you like. The next thing to add is an image and text item. If you have a look at the completed app, you can see that the first one is to get the user's name. So we'll be adding that into our app. So on the right hand side, choose image link and then complete the details as you normally would for an image link. I've now selected an image, I put in a title and typed in some text. Click on Save. Now when we navigate through to this item, we have a new screen. On the completed app, it looks like this. It has a text item, input box and two buttons. So we're going to create the same in our app. I've edited the text, that's quite straightforward. The next item to add is an input box. If I choose the input box, I don't want to have a title on mine, so I'll just delete that. The name field is very important. This is what we'll use as the variable name. I'm going to call the variable username. One word, all lowercase. So I'll type in username. I also don't want to have a default value, so I'm going to select that and delete it. Finally, I'm going to make a small style change. I don't want to have a line after, so I'm going to select no for the line after and click save. I now have an input box on my app and the next item to add is a button. So I'm going to choose button. The label for the first button is just the words say hi. This will greet the user. So I'll type that into the label and click save. I now have three items on the screen and we're going to move on to the next video where I'll show you how to add in the JavaScript.